Hey guys, wanted to add a little part two uh, to that airport utility. Felt like I might have could have showed you a little bit more, so we'll add uh, some more feature there and show you exactly what was going on. We were more focused with how the uh, the devices themselves switched over the explanation of the solid line versus the dotted line. Uh, let me get into this a little closer for you guys and actually reveal to you what's all available um, under this. Um, this is on the iPad, like I said. So let me, um, you can, it's actually kind of cool. You can zoom with the app, make it small. So if you got a lot of devices, you know, time capsules, what have you, it'd be pretty sweet to see a, a bigger network. But anyway, uh, just click time capsule, for example. Um, you can see your available options here. You've got IP address, version, the network name, your wireless clients. For example, let's click version here. Uh, you can see your actual current software. It checks for uh, firmware. There is older versions available. Um, I'm I'm content with the state. This version it appears to be stable. So uh, this is the under the network side. You can see what channels you're actually running on because this is dual band and your security. Um, and then you can click your actual wireless clients. Um, and like we showed you within each client, you can see more information about it, like IP address, the MAC address, and uh, how well of a connection and even. Uh, statistical information regarding that connection. Uh, you can see that A and N means that's connected on the 5 gigahertz band. Anytime you're on A and N, that's 5 gig band, folks. Um, and then uh, BG is going to be your uh, 2.4. Uh, that's your older legacy, older legacy networks, obviously. Uh, let me show you something here. Um, different device here uh, that's connected on obviously BG and N. Uh, that's going to be 2.4. So the other feature there, let's see, you guys saw wireless clients. You can also click hardware info. Uh, it's going to show you time capsule, serial number, ethernet. Uh, the, these are the MAC addresses for each of the radios inside there. Um, so let's take a look down here. If you actually click edit in the top right corner, this is actually when you get into some features of your time capsule. Um, you can change the name of it, your network, turn guest network off or on here. You can uh, look at information regarding your internet connection. If, if you have to make some, you know, depending on if you have like DSL or cable modem, what have you, you may have to make some changes there. Um, if you click under advanced here, there's been a lot of speculate. Well, I want to change my 5 gig network name. I don't want to run the same because I want to know when I'm on 5 gig. Do that. That's fine, folks. That's, this is in the advanced setting. So if your DHCP and NAT settings there, um, they're pretty much set up by default. You can do... You can make changes as you need. That's just depending on your network. Um, here's the file sharing and disk section. You can name the type of disk that it is. You know, the defaults data. I've left that there just for this video. Um, the other setting there, access control. You can turn on IP protocol 6. Port settings, you know, if you guys need to open up a new port outside, inside to get in or out your network, you can do that right through the application. Pretty sweet there. Wi-Fi settings, folks. If you click 5 gig name, see how it's the same as what I have? You can click that and actually just touch, put in a new name, um, hit done. Next screen will come up to update. You can just update that and push that. So then you'll actually have um, a separate name for your 5 gig, and you can do that. So um, you can add Wi-Fi printer, uh, set up over your outside network. I would exercise extreme security caution there, folks. Um, but that was on the time capsule. So let's jump over to see the features on the Airport Express. Not as many. Same initial screen, our connection, our version that we're running. We can also, like I said, update firmware from there. That's running the current 7.6.3. Um, we can see our clients. You know, the, the 5 is back over here still on that. And the iPad 4 is sitting there as well. Um, hardware info, again, serial number, MAC addresses. Uh, you click edit, you have the same screen. Rename your base station. Network, uh, this is for your AirPlay settings. So. If you're using AirPlay, for example, some people use these base stations to just plug in a headphone jack and boom, they got their music. Um, you can just put in that as an AirPlay name, password um, for your iTunes and verify that. Um, and you can read all about this, guys, with iTunes. It's, it's pretty sweet stuff. Uh, interconnect, internet connection, I don't do anything. This is an extender, so I don't want to obviously make changes. Um, under advanced is those same abilities there. If you click under Wi-Fi settings, um, I don't recommend making changes here, but you can do restore base station, restore defaults, add Wi-Fi, printer, what have you. So like I said, guys, that's that's using the Airport Utility app on the iPad. Uh, this app is identical on the iPhone, um, extremely sweet, and is identical on Mac OS. So uh, I actually am running uh, uh, Ethernet on the uh, Thunderbolt here, but uh, just to show you guys, I'll pull that up real quick and show you that it's also the same 
the airport utility on the Mac. Um, blow up this screen here. You guys see this? All right, guys, and then you can see here everything's the same, you know, within that application um, on the OS as well. Obviously, need to enter a password because I've never accessed uh, my network yet using the uh, Mac Mini here. So, uh, like I said, folks, uh, that was uh, part two of using the airport utility application uh, from Apple. I highly recommend. Makes using the product very sweet. So, uh, like I said, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Uh, appreciate everything, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, you guys are awesome.